right now I'm ready to test fit the ribs on top of the spar web which you can see I've just roughly placed here let's just point on this point this out quickly these also are great because with t-pins you don't have something that's gonna just uh, roughly hold something in place the the magnets with their holding strength and their height allow me to adjust this or just place it in roughly um, whereas normally it's kind of like having a third hand which is a great feature of magnets as well moving on we're gonna go ahead like I was saying put roughly place these ribs over the spar web and place it down and slide it in place and you can see that it, it slides pretty easily um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and finish up with that but you can see that they'll each go over one of these slots right here when I come back I'll have that all in place all right I placed the ribs as you can see on the spar and on the spar wet now sometimes what you're going to encounter with placing the ribs on top of this bar or this or a spar web in this case as well is that you're going to have sometimes a not flush alignment that you want and as you can see here we actually have this slot here is a little high above this plane and what you need to do is bring that down so uh, there's a few of them that are are a little high this one's acceptable that's where we want it this one's a little little high and uh, on our end we need to adjust maybe a, a little bit as well always make sure that your your surfaces are flush if you have any raised point here what's going to happen when you place for instance a top spar on here in that slot you're not going to get a perfect contacting you see daylight in there because it's touching high there's a few high points that it's touching on so you're not going to get the holding strength that you want so you need to make sure that everything is flush and to do that take out your ribs and maybe sand down the slot or sand a little bit out of the slot in the spar whip in this case so we either sand the spar web or the rib itself in the slot to allow the rib to drop down a little bit so that the two surfaces here meet, as we showed, so that this surface is flush with this surface. Right now it's not, and that's gonna cause the, when we glue down the top spar, it would be only glued on top of this rib instead of contacting here as well. We don't want that. We want everything to be glued and touching to create the strongest joint possible. Another thing I like to make sure of as well is when I, I just place the top spar on top of the rib where it's going to be going and I make sure that this surface here is going to be flush. Uh, we don't want the top spar raised above the uh, this plane on the rib as well. We want it to be flush. So maybe you might need to, in this case, Looks like I need to sand down this slot for the rib. So I like to use a basic popsicle stick and I glued on a piece of sandpaper as you can see. Just a plain old popsicle stick. But what's great is that it perfectly fits the slot as you can see. And now I can sand down that slot until the top rib, uh, the top spar, excuse me fits in there and is flush with that top surface which now I can see that it is and that's what I'm looking for so take the time to fit and align your spars or any parts for that matter uh, the more time you take to align the more you'll be fine with with everything when, it, when you, it's time to glue <clears throat> and it's going to fit uh, better and you're going to have an easier time with assembling it and having a nice straight true uh, piece. Uh, I know I use true a lot to emphasize things but it really is true. We, we, <laughs> uh, we want to make sure that we're building a nice straight piece and uh, to do that we need to make sure that everything is taken care of and aligned and trimmed and sanded before we go ahead and glue.